Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a sold-out, critically acclaimed run at Roundabout Theatre Company, Joshua Harmon's new play, Significant Other, will open on Broadway at the Booth Theatre on March 2nd under the direction of Trip Coleman. And we drop by the rehearsal studio to meet the company, led by Gideon Glick. Well, now I can finally say it. Welcome to Broadway, my friend. How does it feel? It's wild. It's, you know, it's really wild. Uh, there, you know, Broadway is not a place where you think of new plays going. So, it, you know, for somebody like me, I have dreamt of being produced off Broadway. That was the pinnacle, and so uh, I'm just on a very strange new ride. But I'm thrilled. You know, I wrote the play almost six years ago. I started to write it in obscurity, and I wrote it for myself. It was something that I wanted to see, and uh, I didn't. Ex I certainly, when I started writing it, did not expect it was a Broadway play. So I'm as surprised and delighted as anybody. <laughs> it's it's a full pinch me moment. I mean, I've been directing professionally for 15 years. It's taken me this long and to, that it's coming with this play that I love so much is amazing. Like yeah. We say when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Yeah. You know, we always think along the way, oh, why am I not there yet? Yeah. But then you get this and you're like, oh, I totally understand it. Yeah. I think that's exactly right. Slow and steady wins the race. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this play. What a beautifully written play. What attracted you originally and what you love about the play? Sure. So I think originally, I, I, when I first read it, I was just reeling from a terrible breakup. And I was thinking like, oh my God, I'll never find love again. Oh my God, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. Oh my God, I'm so lonely and sad. And then I read this play and I was like, oh my God, this character is me. Um, even though he's, you know, 20 years younger than I am. Um, but uh, it was just totally amazing to, to be able to have my own emotional experience reflected back to me so specifically. And, uh, and also the fact that like in my life, uh, most of my closest friendships are with women. And I've never seen a play that depicted the so truthfully the relationship between a gay man and his best girlfriends before and so I knew immediately I had to do it immediately and I can't wait I can't wait to start again you know it's been a little while since we did it a year and a half ago and so to reinvestigate everything is really exciting it must have been so wonderful audiences fell in love with this play critics fell in love with this play and then it stopped for all of you and now all of a sudden you're coming into the booth theater on Broadway Yeah, it's like the band's coming back together you know <laughs> and and yeah in the greatest uh, environment. It's my first time uh, on the Broadway, making my debut, and uh, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. It's the best, and to be with this this group of people is very exciting. I get to play three different roles. I play uh, Evan, who's a co-worker, who's very fun. Uh, Roger, who uh, becomes Vanessa's uh, love interest, and Gideon, who uh, uh, dates Jordan uh, in the second act. Um, and it's a great challenge to have to find different physical lives in all of them. And that's that's what I love doing. We all kind of fell in love with each other when we did the show off Broadway, and so now to be to be back in here, we have our, our little text chain going with gifts and emojis and all kind of excitement. So uh, as soon as all these cameras leave and you guys get out of here, we're gonna have have a have a hell of a time. So you go right to work, first day of rehearsal, right? Right to work. This is the first day, so uh, yeah. I mean, we can't wait to to dive back in and. Um, and it's the perfect amount of time to have been away from the show, like a year and a half. And you, you always, when you leave a play, I know I do at least, I don't know if I want to speak for everyone, have that moment of, oh, I, I could have could have done that, or I could have fixed that thing, or that could have been better. And so now to come back a year and a half later and have that chance, that alone is a great blessing to, to fix all the things that you thought you screwed up the first time. So, you know. I love that. Yeah. Talk about this great role you play. Uh, it's great. The... It's funny that the part that I play is uh, I play mostly Will and Conrad and Tony, who are the kind of love interests of a couple of the girls, and Gideon's kind of main, Jordan Berman's main crush at work. Which is funny because that's not the part of the story that I personally relate to. I'm much more of a Jordan Berman in my life and have been. Uh, I kind of play the hot guy at work who... We go on a date. Is it a date? Is it not a date? Am I even gay? You don't even really know. And... I am much more like Gideon's character in the way that I will dance around and, and, and not be sure and I'm, I'm not the kind of confident, self-possessed person that I seem to be on stage maybe and my dating life had not reflected that too. So yeah, so it, I'm glad to do the show to tell, to relate to that Jordan story that I, I relate to so well but um, it's funny that I the part that I play is is not that thing that's that's reflected in my heart. It's like the little I, I I'm like the witness for the prosecution. We're going into the booth, and I made my Broadway debut at the booth in 1955. 
Don't figure that out. It's really a long time. We lasted about two weeks. But it was a wonderful uh, beginning, you know. I've been in a lot of Broadway houses, but never again to the booth. So this is my return. It's very moving to me. And it makes me feel really old. I mean, really old. What did doing this show mean to you when you first got cast in this and working with this company? What it all means to you? Well, I wasn't going to do it. They gave it to me and I said, I'm not going to do this. I'm, I, I have a house on Fire Island. I said, I'm not giving up my summer on Fire Island. And I turned it down. And then my children read it. My son is a producer. He's producing Amelie right now on Broadway. And he called me and said, Mom, you got to do the show. This is a great piece and it's a great part for you. And my daughter called. She said, Mom, you got to do this show. I said, and give up the beach? How can I do that? But I did. And it turned out to be not only a, a really incredible play, but kind of the part of my life. I mean, I'm at this age. How many people my age got a part like this to do? It's gorgeous. It's a year and a half ago where they did this. They're all starting fresh again. You're joining the company. I mean, how exciting is this first day of rehearsal? It's super fun. The first day of rehearsal is always my favorite. It's so much fun. I never sleep well the night before, and I, the true to form, last night I had barely a wink. And But you still kind of wake up like jazzed and ready. I mean, it's, it's the best day. I was a little bit nervous this time, I think, because I'm the new girl. Even though, you know, I have relationships with a lot of people in the room, it was like a little... Okay, hi, I'm new, I don't know, I don't have the shorthand. But um, but it's great, it's a great day and I'm, I'm super excited to be here. What a great role, talk about her. I love Vanessa, I'm really excited about her because, um, because she's really different from a lot of roles that I've played. She's, um, she's quiet and she's dry and she's not the loudest and um, she's, she's a really, really smart person and I think, um, I think her emotional life is is like a quiet beast, um, so she's a, she's a special she's a special part um, in this in this play that's like a, so fun and exciting. She's kind of got this anchor to her emotionally that I'm excited about. Welcome to Broadway. How does it feel? I'm here. It feels good. It feels really good. It feels really weird. I'm a little overwhelmed, but. Um, it's a little bit of a pinch. I think I will settle in tonight when I'm ordering in Thai food of like what the hell just happened. But it's got to be so cool because you all did this at the roundabout. Critics fell in love with this. Audiences fell in love with this. Then you all stepped away and now you're coming to Broadway with it. It's like going to the same school with the same, a different school with the same people. I know. You know, the best thing about this is I met Joshua Harmon doing an audition for Bad Jews. Um, in 2012 and it didn't go my way I fell in love with the play I fell in love with the playwright and he wrote me on Facebook about two weeks after that and said I know this is a crazy story and he said um, sorry it didn't go your way I'm writing another play that uh, I haven't really read out loud at all and it's called um, the Franco-Prussian War would you come read one of the roles and I was like I'd follow this guy to the end of the earth like whatever he's reading I had no idea what the play was I happened to have gotten engaged that week when I read my first reading. And I came and read it, and I fell in love with the play, and I fell in love with this girl named Kiki. And I've been doing readings of the play since 2012, so I had no idea in that Ripley Greer studio way back in 2012 or 2011 that I would be making my Broadway debut with that man in 2017. So it's funny. First of all, welcome back to Broadway. How does it feel? It feels so awesome, and especially to be coming back and doing my first a straight play on Broadway that is like such a thrill and a dream for me I've always wanted to do that and um, and to do it with this play which I just am so crazy about I, I can't believe I get to do this what a great part talk about who you play yeah I play Laura who is uh, Jordan uh, Gideon Glick's uh, best friend um, and we both are a little unlucky in love and have that you know classic gay guy straight girl best friendship that we all know very well um and uh and and yeah it's it's just um we we get to go through so much together um and it's i i just i have the best time okay what a great cast talk about working with him <sighs> yeah working with gideon has been um one of the the biggest thrills of of my career um i think he's such a brilliant actor and he's so special and um to get to play his best friend and love him is not hard um to fight with him sometimes is hard um though you know he makes it easy for me to hate him um <laughs> in the play i'm just thrilled it's truly unbelievable sometimes you do 
shows off Broadway and they're they're always on they're on track to be on Broadway, but this wasn't one of them. So it was a just a like an extraordinary surprise. So today's your first day of rehearsal. I was talking to Barbara Barry and she's like, we all start from scratch all over again. You know, yeah. is that what it's like for you today? Yeah. Well, that's also the goal. It's um, it's funny. I because there's so much text, I, I had to start memorizing a little bit early. It was easy to, to memorize. It came back very quickly, but I also could hear how it was done before. And I think for me, it's, it's trying to reinvest and not um, I clearly honor the stuff that worked before, but really try and, and make it new and fresh. What an incredible role you have been given. Truly. Yeah. Truly, yes. I, I, um, it, is, it is a dream come true. Talk about the play when you first read this play. What went through your mind? And like, when did you say, I have to do this? Oh, I think the moment I started reading it, I remember I called my best friend, Sarah Steele, actually. Um, and I said, you have to read this play. This is us. This is, this is how we speak. These are, these are our people. Um, and I, be, I became quite like the character, obsessive about it. And I, I read it over and over and over again. When we did it off-Broadway, I was so struck by the fact that um, people of all these different races, gender, uh, sexual orientation, age said, I am Jordan Berman, or I was Jordan Berman, or they had tears in their eyes, or they said, that was my child, that is me. And that, to me, is probably the most thrilling part of doing this play.